What's up guys, welcome back to Fish and Hex. Today we are going to look at the Zeobus system. As of yesterday, the tank is six weeks old and it is progressing great. I'm getting some awesome growth on the SPS on the top left hand side there. Now that frag came to me dead and it is absolutely taking off and the coral looks great. I have, I have the same piece in my 125, it doesn't even look like the same piece of frag. So uh, that's just starting to show that the system is doing well. Uh, if you remember the last video, we had hair algae everywhere on the frags. We had it literally all over the rocks, it was disgusting. But uh, we made some changes and uh, and as you can see, it's pretty much gone, like 99.9% .9 of it's gone. I see a couple pieces um, on the back near an acro, but that's it. It's, uh, it's, it's awesome, that's clean, it makes me feel better. Um, so what did we change? Well, we got rid of Zeo food altogether. I'm not even messing with it anymore. I actually, I feel bad that I even bought the crap because now it's just gonna go bad. I can't even use it in the 125. Um, so it's just it's just junk. So I'm kind of you know, people have good results on it. I unfortunately didn't have good results, and it might be because the tank is too early. So I'll keep it around. I don't really. I have to see when it expires. I'll check. Um, so I'll keep it around. I'm not going to toss it, and I might use it in the future. We'll see how that goes out. Um, so what's going on? We are changing our dosing. I'm, I was supposed to do this video about two days ago because we've already completed our two-week break-in period. Of, uh, of the initial dosing because we did the zeobit change two weeks ago, a little over two weeks ago. Now, if you don't know what happens when you do for the first, whenever you do a zeobit uh, media change, you have to change your dosing of your zeo back temporarily for two weeks uh, in order to reboot, reboost the uh, bacteria population on the zeobites. So, what we've been doing for the last two weeks is every other day one drop per 25 gallons of water. And, uh, and now that two week period over is over, so we have to go back to dosing our normal dosing until the next zeobit change. So we're gonna dose one drop per 25 gallons of net water volume two to three times a week. So what I'm gonna do is starting tomorrow, I'm gonna dose two drops twice a week, period. Um, I might move it to three times a week, we'll see how the tank goes, but I do notice since I'm adding more bacteria that the tank is definitely doing better. Um, I'm going to continue to dose uh, 0.25 milliliters of Zeostar every day along with pumping the reactor and dosing two drops of Zeo food every day. Now, um, in two weeks, we're going to have to do our second Zeolite media change. Um, we're also going to have to change our carbon out for the second time. But what's good is once this media change is done, this second one, we won't have to do another one between for another six to 12 weeks, something like that. And uh, we're gonna figure out why there's such a fluctuation. Why is there such a difference between six and 12 weeks? Is it because there's bacteria growing on a rock? We're gonna try to figure out why you have to have the first two uh, within a four week period, you know, four weeks, and then the next four weeks you have to do another uh, zeovite media change. So we're gonna see why there's a big difference in the period, in the, in the, um, and the time that you have to do the third zeolite media change and so on. And I've been looking on the forums, not really getting a clear answer, but I also haven't been looking that hard uh, just because I have so much going on. Um, so we're just kind of letting this tank go and uh, doing what we gotta do. I will be posting some pictures here. I just put an acro in there, uh, these two acros in the very bottom here. Um, I just put those in and uh, they will turn bright green here in, a, in a probably a week or so. Um, that's what the uh, original frag that I have up on the top did. So I'm just waiting for those to turn green, and then I'll put some comparison photos up because in the main main 125, um, they're like a brownish kind of color. They're still green, but they're just not the type of green that are in here. But uh, other than that, guys, that is the update for this video, and uh, we'll be back in two weeks when we do the media change for the second time, the activated carbon change, and uh, we'll do an update, pretty much see how the equipment's going, see how the new uh, bio, uh, new reactor's doing since we changed that out. And then we'll go into dosing again. But other than that, guys, I appreciate you watching the videos. If you liked the video, go ahead and like it, uh, comment, subscribe, and if you have any questions, just ask, and I'll do my best to answer them. And if I can't answer them, I will try to find you an answer. All right, guys, peace.